Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to manage and open up charts on the QST platform, otherwise known as Quick Screen Trading. Now, you may notice there are a couple different locations on this platform pertaining to charts. First one that notably stands out is the charts button here in the top left hand corner. And this pretty much goes throughout any time you create a frame on this platform, but it's pretty much the same process. You'll want to left click on the icon you want to work with. For charts in this instance, we'll be selecting our chart contract so we can just type in ES. You can type in whatever future symbol route you'd like to type in. So we can type in the YM, the Dow. If you do have the correct symbol entered, as you can see, it'll automatically just open up the um, front month or it'll show you and display several other contract months for this uh, futures contract. So you can just double click whatever you'd like, click OK. And as you'll notice, your chart will open up. Now, that is a good option and it's a good introduction to opening up a chart. But you'll notice if we go through with creating a frame. Now, a frame is essentially a widget. Any window you do have within this platform is considered a frame. So my orders and positions monitor here, that's a frame. That chart that I just opened up through the chart button, that's considered a frame. There are two ways to open up a frame. You can do so with this create a frame button right here. This is right next to where you select a workspace. And as you can see, just to show you really quick, you do have the options to rename and delete an active frame. So the other option, and it's the same exact thing, it's just not a shortcut, is through the frame tab right here. You just click on new frame. And as you can see, it will open up the same new frame window, no matter which method you choose. It'll open up this floating window here. From here, you do have the options of all the different frames. Again, we are working with charts. So in alphabetical order, we'll select charts. If you want, you can name it a particular title. So let's say we wanted to work with the Dow only, we can name it the YN. If we wanted to work with the ES, we can type in ES. Now from here, you do have three different options. And this is obviously personal preference. Internal essentially keeps your chart only internally within the workspace that you have activated at the time of creation. So we're working with the quotes workspace now. Again, if you're not familiar with workspaces, feel free to refer to the last video. We uh, had an introduction video to the platform as well as workspaces. But so for now, again, we currently have quotes activated. If I do create this frame, then it will internally create this frame within this workspace. Now persistent on the other hand, creates a persistent frame which is unified and works across all the different tabs or the workspaces. So let's say for example, and I'll just show you this real, real quick. We open up a persistent chart because we configured the frame first. Now we're still going to have to configure our contract here. Not a big deal. As you can see, we currently have the ES chart open. And you'll notice it is designated with a P where my mouse is currently hovering over. This just stands for persistent. Now, as you can see, and this is actually full screen, so let me close out this frame. But as you can see, as we go across our quotes or our workspaces here, our ES chart is unified and persistent across all the different screens here. As you can see, that ES-P remains consistent. And again, that just shows that it's persistent. It is a little bit different formatted on that initial window there. That's just because I didn't mess around with it. But as you can see, this is persistent across all workspaces we have. If we close it out, it should delete it from all our workspaces as well. So it works as intended. Now, let's open up another one and let me show you what external does. External is pretty much for those users that do have multiple monitors or they want their chart on a different screen rather than all of their quotes or whatever the case may be. Everybody, again, has their own personal preference, so it may differ from customer to customer. Again, this platform is extremely customizable, so feel free to create it as you'd like. But let's create an external frame real quick just to show you if we click OK. You can't see it because it actually opened up in my other monitor. Let me drag it over here. So again, this may be a good solution for me 
because I do have multiple monitors. As you can see, the new chart window opens up in my completely different monitor there. I actually do have the chart open on my other screen. I can't drag it yet because I do have this new chart configuration window. Again, from here, you pretty much, and we didn't actually go into this before, I was more focused on frames, but from here, again, you select your contract. If you need to, you can use the futures lookup, the symbol directory here. There's futures, options, and strategies in which we can configure and filter by. Then on the left here, we have all the different categories and list of exchanges. There's a ton. Let's say, for example, we wanted to trade off corn and we know it's part of the agricultural. We just filter based off agriculture, cultural. We can select corn here. As you can see, we have the different electronic pit traded contracts. We select that and then we just click OK. Or if we don't know it, we can kind of start typing in. We know ES. We can just click on that. Click OK. It's automatically configured for us. We can adjust ticks or whatever the case may be. If we need to, we can adjust based off a of daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and intraday timeframes. We can have a continuous contract. We can have adjusted by specific number of days or months. And then we can limit our time frame between five years, four years, whatever the case may be, whatever we want to display. Now, once you click OK, your chart will be configured. Let me drag it over here and boom. As you can see, your chart has opened in its own entire window. You can manipulate this window as you typically would on any platform or just any Windows product in general. As you can see, you can minimize, maximize or can't close out. And then the neat thing about this is because it is in its own window, you do get the entire charting toolbar right at the top here. So all of your charting tools are directly on top of your own, your chart here and you can do and manipulate your chart as needed directly through one convenient window. Now, just to show you and back to workspaces real quick, we pretty much covered how to open up a chart, just showed where drawing tools are located, but just back to the workspace conversation real quick. And it, it really depends on everybody's personal preference, but if you'd like, you can pretty much just create a charts workspace, which by default should have been enabled for you. You can come down here and just start to place all your charts as you like. So you can create a chart for the YM, one for the ES, the list continues on and on and you can create multiple charts as needed and pretty much fill out your workspace. Again, this is a default. So if you want to remain organized and open up multiple charts within this section, feel free to do so. It really depends on how you'd like to approach organization. And just to show you if at any time you do want to, you can make this a persistent window by left clicking this button here. That'll, as you can see, bring it across all our different workspaces. Or if you want to, you can maximize it as needed, create its own window. You can pop it out and make it external as I did just by clicking that button next to the persistent button. And that will just about wrap it up. We covered a lot about charts in this video, pretty much just the technical aspect of them, how to manipulate charts, how to open them up, how to work with multiple workspaces, windows, monitors. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more QST content. There is more on the way, so stay tuned if you need some help in tutorials. If you do have any questions, comments, concerns, any requests for new videos, please post them in the comment section below or head over to our forum. It's linked in the description. Just click on it, sign up real quick, and you can post anything you like there. We're always constantly browsing our forum and monitoring it to help out our users. Again, we thank you for watching and we hope you found this helpful.